okay I'd like us to bow our heads and let's open with a word of prayer Lord there must be some incredible things that this class is going to accomplish as from the start of their lives until this very moment there's been nothing but chaos and they have survived and overcome and we are so proud of them we ask that you bless their next steps their chapters their new beginnings as they move on with their life uh, bless the parents and help them with the uh, empty nesters and the uh, um, things that they don't have to do anymore. We just ask that you bless us all this afternoon as we celebrate their accomplishments and look forward to their new beginnings. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Everybody hear me all right? Yes. All right. I'm going to try to be brief. Those of you who know me a little bit know that that's not necessarily the easiest thing to accomplish. Before I begin, I'd like to take a moment to recognize two of our own today, Zach Jarnowski and Tyler Jurisco. Both received accolades yesterday for their academic athletic awards. Zach for baseball and Tyler for both soccer and also the Dr. Woodley Kuntz Award for the overall Athletic GPA as a senior. Congrats to both of you. Alright, graduates. I'm going to tell you I've enjoyed the moments that Ruth and I have had to share with you and hanging out a little bit this week. I didn't want to be that helicopter parent, but it was just kind of nice to get to know y'all. Um, and I have to tell you, I'm pretty jealous. Um, the bond that you guys share and that, that we were able to witness is truly a special one. And I hope that you appreciate it. I was pretty humbled when Tanya asked me to get up here and participate in your event. This is your day. It's not mine, but I'm thankful that I'm able to have a part in it. This isn't something that I ever would have imagined, but honestly, who could have imagined what we've gone through so far this year? And when you're asked to do something like this, how do you go about figuring out what you're going to say? You think about the subject matter, you guys, and you think about the audience, their parents, and is there any theme to be found here? And I found it. Many years ago, Zach was about two, there was a surprise hurricane. I'm pretty sure it was Isabel. It wasn't supposed to do much damage, but it blew in. And I remember holding Zach on, on my arms, and we were standing on the front porch of our house, and the wind was blowing over the top of the house. And we watched it blow through the trees. Leading up to this storm, we had experienced a lot of rain, and the ground was really, really wet. At that time, the lot that we lived on had a lot of trees. And Ruth, myself, her mom, we were all very concerned about a tree falling on the house. But there was only one tree that fell down with all of that. It was right on the edge of our lot, on the outside edge, and it fell across the street and it blocked the neighbors in. All the other trees fared well in the storm. And riding around afterwards, I saw some mighty oak trees that were 
said to have been over a hundred years old, which had fallen over in yards across the town. What was it that caused some trees to fall over and others to survive? It was their support system. Those tall, beautiful trees in our yard, they grew up together. They had hung out for a long time, I guess you could say. And because they had hung out, their roots were intertwined. This made them stronger together. The mighty oak tree stands alone, and it had for many years. It was well grounded, but their roots weren't ground, grown into the ground. They were out and shallow, so Isabel was able to blow them over much easier. I remember a house where the root ball of the oak tree was actually taller than the roof line of the house, so the roots were huge, but they weren't intertwined. They had no support. When I was about 11 years old, we moved into a farmhouse on the other side of Richmond. The original owner had planted an apple tree with branches that had been grafted into it from other branch types of apples, and there was even some pears in there. When it began to bear fruit each year, it was incredible to see that these fruits, all these different fruits were growing on the same tree. In 2016, a guy named Peter Wolben a German forester wrote, The Hidden Life of Trees. What do they feel? How do they communicate? He explains that a forest of trees are actually communal. How even different species will form alliances living in interdependent relationships. He was actually quoted as saying, some people were calling it the wood wide web. That's a really bad joke. But anyway. <laughs> Trees, <laughs> yeah. trees share water and nutrients through these networks, and they also communicate. And I know classes are over, and I know you already officially graduated, so learning about trees today wasn't high on your list of priorities. But this is the theme. All of you are from the same community, and for the most part, you've grown up together. You have roots. And they are intertwined with those to the right and the left of you. They have grown that way over the years. You began as seedlings during a turmoil-filled time period. And while we parents had worries and concerns about the world and even our own safety, truthfully, you grew up quickly in the shade of our worries. We found peace and enjoyment in watching you grow. We saw promise in every passing season as your branches grew outward, testing new winds and new seasons. Along the way, your paths crossed others in the group. Those intersections became grafts into your roots, building on your own foundation, making you stronger to face the world. Even while becoming a tall, beautiful tree, your foundations were truly intertwined in their roots. This year, we've seen the winds of life as they've blown. Sometimes they can be gentle and comforting like the breeze off the water right now. Other times they can be hot and sticky. And this year you've experienced a lot of the storms of life. High winds, driving rain, lightning, and havoc all around you. And yet here you stand at the end of this season and you're preparing for another growth ring. It's a good time to look back over your experiences and how they prepared you for this next chapter. You have already overcome the shadow of 9-11. It's the world you grew up in and you know no other way. You've already dealt with breakups and disappointments as a normal part of life. You've already experienced the importance of being prepared for the tests of school and of life. You have already experienced the importance of friendship and the realities of feeling left out and all alone. You have already experienced how the winds of discord will try to blow you over and take you apart. You have already experienced that all your plans can change in a minute, and yet you will still survive. You will survive because of your support system, these people that you share the deck with today. When one of you is down, the others share the necessary nutrients needed to survive. And I know that firsthand some of you guys have learned that lesson again this week as you have celebrated your accomplishments. You will enjoy, learn to enjoy the seasons of life. You will learn to enjoy job changes, moves, and distance. You will never be that tree alone in the front yard without support because you have each other. 
You will enjoy the seasons of marriage and of children. Please note I said it in that order. <laughs> you will enjoy the growings of your own forest, the expansion of your own root system. And you won't feel like it, but you will also enjoy the season of failures. You will be able to help each other fix the broken branches and celebrate new growth. It won't feel like it, but you will enjoy being pruned. Remember that the gardener tends to his garden and prunes dead growth of, or of a branch that is growing into dangerous territories. These actions can seem painful, but you will grow stronger in your core because of them. And we can all say that you will enjoy the season of growing old. Right now, you are enjoying the flexibility of your youth. You will enjoy the strength of your adulthood. You will love the seedlings which grow under the safety and the shade of your own branches. You will enjoy the colors of your fall. As a parent, speaking for all of them, it has truly been a pleasure to watch you get to this point. I don't want to come on. <laughs> almost got to the end. I'm still pretty good. <laughs> so, anyway, with that, it is our privilege to experience and share this in a much more intimate fashion than we would have ever considered. And for that, COVID, I actually thank you. Um, this is much more um, intimate than it would have been if we would have been just watching it one time at the TED. So at this point, we are ready to present you with your diplomas. Um, as I call your name, please come down here. Um, and I want you to know, it is perfectly okay for everybody to cheer, make noise, yell, do anything that you want to within reason. Okay, Sydney Adams. Yeah. Hunter Bailey.
speech it's not in front of the TED Center not in front of everybody but I'm just speaking to my friends and all the family and I just really want to say thank you to all the parents because without this like we would have experienced nothing and most seniors are not experiencing anything when it comes to graduation and I think this is the closest a student could possibly get to having a real graduation and real prom and real everything like that so and specifically Miss Tanya she was <laughs> She was here every night cooking us food, doing everything for us, so it was just amazing of her. Thank you so much. And now I just want to thank all my friends, including everyone here and my new ones from Grassfield. <laughs> it is just it's just been awesome and I'm so I'm just so happy Tyler Bose told me to sit down with Scott and Hunter in seventh grade at the cafeteria because that's where our friend group was made and I'm just so happy about that. And these girls they're so fun to, to party with and to hang out with. Yeah, we, are. we honestly haven't hung out with them for all that much. We use, but we're just we're getting to know them now and this year. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been great. But actually, but without and just looking at all of us, like we're we're some studs. Like and it, and it, and it, all, and it all comes from our parents. <laughs> It all comes from our parents because look, look at all of us. We're just growing up. We got, we got, we got D one commits for soccer, baseball, full rides academically. Wait list. Wait, wait, wait list and keep going. Keep going. Hey, I, but we made it. Yeah. So yeah, I just want to say it's a big thank you to the parents. That's the that's the biggest thing because without you guys, we would be nowhere in life. So I just really want to say thank you. Graduates, by the power presented to me by COVID-19, <laughs> grab your tassels. Moving to the other side. And step into adulthood. <laughs> 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 